It's the warm season, that means bugs are back out. For bugs, it's the time to thrive and do bug type stuff. For us, it's time we get to enjoy the sun and also be thankful that I don't live in Australia. Spiders are not easy to calmly deal with, even if you do not live in Australia, where they're 10 times the size of a small child. They're freaky and scary, this is no secret. I'm totally on the same page. I don't think I could ever muster up enough courage to hold one in my hand or let one crawl on my arm like they do to help people who have fear of spiders get over their fear of spiders. Even like a daddy long legs, which aren't harmful to humans and generally passive. Also not even a spider, apparently. I wouldn't touch them. No thank you. But despite my fear, I try my best to keep the balance of nature and will usually capture and release a spider when I see one indoors. It's not an easy thing to do, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. And it's for the better. Because now birds can eat them. But I'm no total saint. Uh, I used to go to a friend's cabin a lot in the summer to engage in summer type activities canoeing and fishing and stuff like that. It's way up in northern Minnesota, right next to the Boundary Waters, so raw nature kind of place. It takes hours to get there, but the trip was always fun, because I was with good friends. Lots of good memories there. I miss that cabin. Now I say cabin, but I really mean like a lake house. It was a really nice place. But when my brain sees a structure next to some water in a woodsy area, my knee-jerk reaction is to call it a cabin. So. I'm gonna just keep doing that. Cool. So this cabin was really nice. Everything you needed there, temperature control, electricity, running water, full kitchen. The only thing that was somewhat lacking was pest control, specifically the bug kind. This particular summer, we had just gotten to the cabin. And we're bringing our stuff inside from the cars, claiming who gets what bed and what room, stocking the bathrooms and kitchen with supplies for the week, when suddenly, wow, that's a big spider. Oh my god, that <coughs> This big old beefer spider shows up and just completely stops all unpacking. Here's the current layout of the situation. There's a hallway here, a doorway here, a spider here, and we are all here. Bedrooms where we're unpacking stuff are over here, and literally everything else to the house is this way. So you can see we were in a bit of a pickle. The layout of the house required us to pass through a specific doorway that the spider was specifically in front of, blocking everybody and being generally terrifying. If I had to guess what spider it was, I would say wolf spider. The as big as your hand slash big enough to eat a bird if you felt like it kind. And because of that, nobody wanted to even get close to it. I'm a catch and release kind of guy, but not a catch and release at the expense of my arm kind of guy. So we had this problem that was affecting everybody and zero people who wanted to deal with it in an understandable way. Like what if we try to kill it and we miss it and then it scurries out of sight? Then we'd have even a worse problem. Good luck sleeping. Or if we do kill it and we hit it with like a broom and then thousands of little baby spiders came out, then we would have, instead of a big problem, a thousand smaller problems. Or if we try to capture it and put it outside, it could jump on our faces. And then we would have a spider on our face problem. But thankfully I was there and I didn't have the forethought to think of any of those situations. So I dove right in to solve the problem. I can't catch and release this spider. Even if I successfully got it outside, it's not like a bird would eat this thing. This thing would probably eat a bird. Think, Andy, think. Why is there a door there? Who would leave a door in the middle of the hallway? Wait a second. Spiders are smaller than doors. That means spiders are weak to doors. That means- Jeez, I'm not gonna I touch that now. now. It's too this big. Oh, that's not it's a good idea. I have a family. A deem for nature. That could My mom and dad and was like- Woo! Yeah! I was the hero of the day, and as a reward, I didn't have to clean up the spider guts that was just splattered all over the floor, and the door I just crushed it with. Woo! So after that problem was solved by genius boy Andy, we went back to unpacking and had a great rest of the trip. I love that place. A lot of good memories. Lots of good memories. There might be plans to go back there this summer, which I'm really quite excited for. More excited than that spider was big, which is, oh my god, so much. Thank you for watching. It means a lot when you guys read my comics and check out my videos. Despite making countless spelling errors in my comics, uh, you guys are just super nice and give me tons of support. And I love that. I really appreciate that. Um, which kind of brings me into my next point. I got this message a little bit ago about being unfollowed from my comics blog, which is concerning. 
because it isn't the first time it's happened. One of my friends has told me like three separate times he's been unfollowed from my comics blog on Tumblr. So I just wanted to bring that up. If you follow me on Tumblr, keep an eye on that stuff. I'm going to message Tumblr themselves about it later, see if I can somehow fix it. But that's all. Just wanted to let you know. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And see you in the next... See you in the next one. See you... Next video. How do you end these things?